If you got some numbness on the outside of your leg and you're not sure if it's myalgia parasitica or not, you're not alone. But this one test should help you in many cases decide if it is or if it's coming from the back instead. So just as a quick background, for those who don't know, myalgia parasitica is when you get basically numbness on the outside of your leg, kind of right along here on this guy. And uh, it's meant to be because you have a ligament right here called the inguinal ligament, if you can see this right here. And underneath is a nerve that goes there and it can get pinched by all kinds of things such as being overweight, uh, such as wearing tight belts, uh, trauma, etc. However, many times people could have a pinched nerve in the low back, especially from things like disc issues, which actually attach to that nerve. This black thing here is the nerve. And this is tough not only for patients, but also for medical providers to figure out where it's coming from. The best test that I'm aware of is called the pelvic compression test. And how that works is you lay on your side and you basically take your hand and you find that the bony part of your hip, so if you were to touch in your waist and then go right underneath, you're gonna take one hand on top and then you're gonna push down like this. I don't wanna break the guy, but you're gonna push down like that and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. Very important to hold this for 45 seconds because you don't expect to feel anything right away. Two big things you should pay attention is number one, if numbness disappears when you do that, or number two, if you are triggering a strange sensation or even sometimes more pain, because the big idea with this is you're releasing pressure off the nerve. You're basically pushing the hip bones together a little more to release tension off the ligament on top and then ultimately make it easier on the nerve. And that can either relieve numbness or sometimes even trigger pain because the sensation just comes back when you take the pressure off the nerve. Either way, totally worth bringing up with your medical provider just so they get the right diagnosis going. Uh, I don't recommend diagnosing this on your own at home, but at the same time, this can be very useful just to figure out where it's coming out because I think a lot of people do get misdiagnosed in this case when it is actually something from the low back. I wanna give a special thanks to the authors in the article I'm gonna post below. Uh, this source you can read if you want to hear the more detailed version, but basically it's called the pelvic compression test and it's a really good way to figure out what you have going on. Lastly, if you are a clinician watching this, uh, there's a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 93.3%. So really accurate for diagnosing myalgia parasitica. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe to Riley Rehab. Please like this video and uh, coming up with new content all the time. So I will see you next time.